Okay, because of the difficulty of this rhythm, it's the same for all three. It's different chords. Here we go, 60 beats per minute, number one. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, and, and, and two. Three, four, and one. Two, three, and, and, and two. Three, four, and done. 120, one, two, three, four, one. some things up so I just have the lead showing and let's run through that all right 
So yeah, the update, once again, you are doing the exact same movement pattern for all four scale shapes, all four of them. So hopefully that helps you get them all down more easily. So let's play it at that 60. One, two, three, four. notes were spilling over into the next line it did not look good all right from the top 60 one two three four go so yeah uh, you did start saying the chord names as you went that's good so as far as video uh, let's let's simplify what we're gonna do here so definitely demonstrate the scale stuff in the video or the lead part demonstrate the lead in the video and then during the lesson I'll ask you as we have been to play all the scale shapes currently that have been worked with and then I'm just going to quiz you on the chords. Be like, just say a chord name, what kind of chord, like maybe the C major bar chord and all six strings, or the open C major chord and have you play that. Or play the open D minor chord, play the D minor bar chord, and play the E5 starting on the A string, or the E5 starting on the G string, stuff like that. So yeah, just keep running through those things, keep it fresh. You know, just once a day through the chords is totally fine. So, again, just say the chord names as you go so you remember them like you have been doing this past week. And no need to make a video for the chords because I'm going to just quiz you. Be like, play this chord, play that chord. But, yeah, definitely do a video on the lead part still. Um, I think that covers everything. And, yeah, any questions come up, let me know. I will see you again next week.